Yohi, KTN News. Thank you, Kashuhi, for that report. Now, meanwhile, a section of leaders and human rights groups have condemned the manner in which Rigadi Gashagwa was impeached by both the National Assembly and the Senate. The leaders, who included Busia Senator Okoitium Tata, claimed that Gashagwa was not accorded a fair hearing during the impeachment motion. They further opposed the appointment of Interior CS Professor Kithure Kindiki as Deputy President. Yes current Kenya Kwanzaa government is beyond reform. In fact, we cannot negotiate with them. Everything they do, they help us to mobilize the anger of the Kenyan people. The nomination of Professor Kindiki as the deputy president has even brought a new anger in the majority of the Kenyan people. The Communist Party of Kenya will be at the forefront to make sure that this Kindiki project is humiliated and defeated. Many of us have lost husbands, children, sons and daughters to the heavy-handedness of the police and nomina nomination of the Professor Kithore Kindiki as deputy president-elect only reopens fresh wounds and amplifies the collective anger of the women and men across our nation. When the vice president, the deputy president, fell sick and requested that he should be allowed time to be attended to by doctors, then even comes back, there was nothing that stopped us from allowing him to do that. And at the end of the day, the crimes are voted on and people take decisions. Sometimes people are even whipped by their parties to take positions. But the person must be heard. There are questions I listed, I listed about 18 questions. And in the spirit of 